Hey guys, Pain Relievers here, looking to give you some tips on surviving in Dead by Daylight. So this first tip I like to call uh, just flashlight of phobia. It's, it's basically where you just have a flashlight and you've been kind of harassing the killer the whole game with it. And uh, they're kind of expecting you to flashlight them whenever they down a teammate. In this case, you can see the nurse is looking for me. She's kind of expecting me to jump out with my flashlight, but I kind of know that she's looking for me. So we're both kind of playing mind games here. But uh, eventually she realized she's wasting a lot of time looking for me. She can't find me. So she goes and patrols another gen. I go ahead and pick up this save on my teammate. And uh, yeah, that's a flashlight of phobia for you. So in this clip, you're going to see another great example of having that flashlight paranoia working in your favor here. So you see here that I am hiding in the fields, feeling pretty confident she's not going to find me here. Um, do hear that she did refill her hatchets at that locker, so I know she's at full hatchets, at least five at this point. And uh, here, my teammate does try and go for the save for the downed uh, survivor there, but she does get hit with a hatchet, and she uses two hatchets here, so I know she has at least three left. Um, and it looks like she is looking for me. She knows I've been kind of stalking her the whole game with my flashlight, but she is not able to find me. So she goes around and tries and picks up the down teammate. Uh, however, there is just enough space, even though she tried to face the wall for me to save them with my flashlight. And uh, yeah, now she wants to chase me, uh, but I am pretty prepared for this. And I do see the T-wall here. So I, I go ahead and try and make use of it. I stand over here so I can go either way in case she runs around uh, the front or the back. Uh, and yeah, I am making try glance behind me occasionally to know where she's coming from. Just make it into this window here before that hatchet hits me. And uh, yeah, there's a nice corner here to, to juke her uh, hatchets. And she, eventually she just runs out of them and I'm able to get away. So in this clip, the technique I'm using here is basically just assuming that the killer has barbecue and chili every single game I play. Uh, you'll see that she did hook someone in the corner there, so I am getting a bit paranoid that she knows that I'm here. So I go ahead and make the decision to uh, sneak away at this point. And not a moment too soon, I do see the Huntress coming around at that point, and I am able to evade her. So I'm over here skulking around with my flashlight looking for that opportunity to get a save on Dwight here. It does look like it's going to be a bit hard to get that flashlight off, but Wraith does make a mistake and he faces the window, so I get a nice window flashlight there and make a clean getaway. So here I want to talk about chase mechanics. So in this clip you'll see that I am constantly checking behind myself to know which way the hillbill is coming from. Uh, the more predictable his movement, the better for me. I take this opportunity to vault through the, uh, the bus there. He goes around, I go ahead and vault back through it, uh, forcing him to vault through that window very slowly. Um, and as you'll see here, I do take this pallet because I feel like he probably has bloodlust and he's getting some uh, movement there. Uh, whenever he breaks a pallet, uh, they do lose bloodlust, or if they hit you with a melee, they lose bloodlust as well during a chase. I go ahead and take this vault here, and it looks like I'm going around this way, but then he actually tries to vault through the window to surprise me. I do see the red stain, and I avoid him. I vault through this, he misses the melee, and then at this point, it looks like he's probably just going to give up on me, and I just uh, escape, pretty much, yeah. So in this clip I wanted to just talk about line of sight and prediction. So you'll see here that there's three generators left on this map and the, the nurse there is taking a very obvious main route to kind of patrol all of them right in the middle of the three generators left. So it's really easy for me to just kind of sidestep her and go around the back of the wall there for you know the first time she patrolled and then this time as well you'll see. I'm just sneaking around the back, she didn't see me at all. Uh, but she knows someone is around doing gen, so I'm pretty sure she's going to try and look for me. Um, you see her there. I am avoiding her line of sight. I'm not sure exactly how she finds me here, but she does. And I go ahead and take the sprint burst to get a sizable distance on her. Uh, however, yeah, she tries to uh, blink me there, but I do evade it with a nice juke. And uh, yeah, it looks like she's chasing me, but there's only one gen left. It looks like she's going back to patrol now. So this clip's mostly going to be about uh, evading the killer using his terror radius and using the warehouse uh, to evade him with. Uh, on most maps, the warehouse is a great way to uh, use all the pallets and the window opportunities. It's usually chock full of them. So I go ahead and fall through this window here. I can tell by his terror radius he's kind of right on my tail. So I go ahead and run around this corner here. I do hear the terror radius kind of fade in and out here. I can tell he's passing right by it. And I go ahead and just loop around here, go back through this window. I know it takes a long time to get through this. 
uh, just head straight through. My sprint burst coming off cooldown, I go ahead and just take it. I do not stick around this pal, and I know I have a sizable distance lead on him, so he cannot catch me at that point. Don't want to use that pal if I don't need to. I do escape the chase, but I do still hear that he's still uh, following me around, so I just take the opportunity to get back into that warehouse just in case he is chasing me. And uh, yeah, he eventually just gives up on wasting too much time. So that's it for these tips. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see next. Uh, what more of, what less of.